clarify this a bit and are modifying the applicability of land use factor to say remodels of or additions to residential and then et cetera, et cetera, um, representing less than 15% of the valuations of structure, you know, or adding less than 20% gross floor area. So if you meet that in a residential, could be single family, townhouse, multifamily, um, if you meet that criteria, then you wouldn't be subject to um, the landscaping chapter and the tree canopy requirements. So if somebody wants to make a small addition, like a hundred by or a ten by ten room to their house, add a deck, um, you know, put up something on the on the roof, I guess, um, then they wouldn't be subject to those requirements. They're kind of de minimis activities to a house that wouldn't trigger the need to meet the thirty percent or or have to replant trees or and all that kind of stuff. Clear, but if I'm doing more than 50% of the value or 20% of the gross space, if I'm not taking trees down, it doesn't apply either, right? Um, no, the, 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 no if, if you are over this amount, yeah. then uh, you may be subject to the requirements in, if, if you're over this amount, you'd be subject to the landscape requirements. So that might mean uh, having to do a perimeter of landscaping, the tree canopy requirements. So this is trying to set a, a threshold for, what's the threshold of development on a site that's that would trigger and, and do keep in mind, excuse me, that the tree re, the tree um, requirements exempt out single family duplexes on lots that were created prior to April twenty first two thousand nine. So if you're building a house on a lot that was created prior to that, then you you weren't subject. That's the way it is today. You weren't subject to the rules. This would kind of kind of kind of say well, but there's other scenarios out there that don't fit that that cap. I have a, uh, a big enough, you know, I don't have a great, a huge house, but it might have room for a deck. So if I take no trees down, but I put in a giant deck in my backyard that affects no trees whatsoever, theoretically, my firm is now subject to this. You might look at my lot and go, oh, you don't have 30% plants and trees. Is that, a, is that an accurate statement or is that not an accurate statement? That's not, because that's not, our intent, our intent is, to, is, to, is to avoid that situation right. where, where we're having to have, a, where there's a question about whether it is or isn't by saying that if you, if you are, if you meet or under the, the item C, if you fall under that threshold, then you're not even subject to it. You, don't, you stop meeting in the chapter. You don't have to go any further. If you're over that, then you, you may have to look at other sections of the code that talk about applicability and see if what you want to do um, you know, meets that or not. <coughs> the likelihood is that a DAC is probably, probably going to be far less than 50% of the valuation. seem like an obvious one where that somebody might choose to do, you know, at, at put in a house. I think I think where Commissioner Hannon was more focused on was the addition where somebody was actually adding square footage to the to the structure. And so we tried to reflect that a remodel Six thirty at night, public meeting room one.
decks not considered part of gross square footage? I guess I, I'm reading this. I'm not. I'm not seeing that being defined. Well, I, I don't, I'm not sure if we want to necessarily um, uh, uh, limit. You know, our, I mean, we, we kind of focused on debt. I think we want to. What we want to do is is be inclusive of all of the potential things. So the terms. Re